Hello, this is an example of using Procreate to block colors. It's sped up a bit, um, but the first thing that I like to do is import a photo and reduce the opacity. The photo is there for reference, um, but you can also create a palette from an image, so that is very useful. You can do that, keep the photo at full um, transparency first. And then you can create a layer on top just to map out your composition. So what I'm doing here is I have the trans uh, oh, the layer with the image that's sort of lighter and then on top of it another layer and I'm using a red pencil just to block out where I want the text to go. So um, I'm writing on here, I think build a, build a bigger table um, and then just to kind of get an idea of where I want the text, but nothing is flattened or set in stone. Um, and I do this kind of as a sketch on top. And so then once that is finished, you'll see that I leave that in place while I begin to sketch on top of some of the plates in the image, but the, in, the plates don't take up the whole photograph. So I, um, you know, you use that photo really as a reference. We're not, we're using some things to sort of trace shape, but you're, you're taking something and adapting it to your own uh, design. So then when we talk about color blocking, what I'm talking about is you're gonna create another layer and choose a color that either you pulled from the image or a different color. You can always change the color in Procreate, remember. And then I'm switching to the mono line, which I actually use quite often while I'm drawing things that are color blocked. And now I'm just outlining all of these tomatoes. When you draw a line in Procreate, a, a circle or a straight line or a square, and you hold your pencil down it will it'll clean up the circle for you so that's what's happening here so I hold the pencil and it flattens out into a, a um, cleaner circle so I'm going over these it doesn't need to be exact um, that's the idea you know you're using this image as a reference as a starting point to understand scale um, and then I'm going to take the orange that I've been using and fill each shape. So what's happening here is I'm pulling the color from that circle and dragging it over. And as long as your circle or your shape is closed, it will just fill that. If it fills the whole thing, it means that your shape wasn't closed. And then you can double tap with two fingers and it'll undo. So now I'm changing the opacity on those so I can see the photograph again. So I lowered the opacity on layer three. I went back to the photograph. I'm lowering that one even a little bit more. And now back to the top layer, I'm gonna draw the stem. So I'm using the same, uh, the same pencil, the mono line, but I, on the left there, I'm changing the thickness of it. So, and as I was doing this, I was trying to figure out if I liked the color, if I wanted to change something. But you, like I said, you can always change the color in Procreate by dragging a new color into a shape. So sometimes I'll just draw it and then switch out the colors a little bit. And really with this, I'm trying to get the impression of those tomato stems. They don't have to be exact because I, I don't want it to be a photograph. I want it to be the like a color blocked impression of this cool little um, vine of tomatoes. So I go through those. And then as that, as I finish that up, um, this is sped up. So you can see it does take time to, um, to get things the way you want them to. And the nice thing about Procreate is you can always tap with two fingers, it will undo. If you wanna redo something, you tap with three fingers. And I'll demonstrate some of this in class. But I do really encourage you to watch 
some of the videos that Procreate has created because their tutorials, there's no, there's no way to make them better. You know, they do such a nice job. And then there's other, there's people on YouTube who have dedicated their entire YouTube channel to teaching Procreate. So I like to give some specifics to you um, based on the assignments, but to really get to know this program, you can just play with it. It really is very um, user-friendly. So then now I'm pushing the opacity back up so it's completely opaque. And then I saw that my stem, you know, looked a little dark compared to the color of the tomatoes. So now I'm gonna go in um, one thing that I love is alpha lock. So what I just did there is I'm going to turn the alpha lock on on the stem. And so when you have alpha lock on, anything you do in that shape that you have the alpha lock, it'll only stay within that shape. So I'm here trying to figure out what color and opacity I wanna use inside the stem to put highlights. So I am drawing all over that, but it's only going inside the green stem line because I have alpha lock on. It's one of my favorite things. It's like a mask basically, and you're masking out any other space. So it only draws where the, where the um, shape in that layer is. So, and then I put another layer on top. I think I'm adding highlights here. So, um, and then as you go, this is, won't show the complete drawing, but I will add another video that shows you a few more tricks. Thank you.